When your pet needs urgent care, you need animal emergency care. Staffed with caring veterinary professionals with a state-of-the-art facility. Open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week for emergencies only. Animal Emergency Care in Bellingham and online at animalemergencycare.net. Oh, this is my kind of critter. We got a puppy. And he's cute. <laughs> and he's stinky. Okay, he's a little bit stinky. <laughs> Yeah, but there's a reason for that. We can explain. Laura Clark from the Whatcom Humane Society. Hi. Good morning. I'm turning him over to you because you like this I kind of dog. I do like this kind of dog. I like the senior dogs. This is not a senior dog. This is a puppy. He's four months old. His name is Wally. He's Dave's new best friend. Let's look at Scott. Oh, there's Scott. Oh, yeah. Okay. Why, why is he a little bit stinky in a weird way? Well, so he, we th- first of all, his breed, we think he's some type of Great Dane mix. He's got that long, lanky body and the really long face. And yeah, he's, keep in mind, he's four months old now. 90 plus pounds when it's all said okay. and done. Um, he arrived to us about a month ago. He wandered into a local store in Bellingham, a drugstore, bald, shivering. Like bald, like no hair. Completely bald. And emaciated. And so he was suffering from mange, which is highly contagious, really painful, itchy, scratchy, just bad news. And so thankfully, our vet clinic fixed him up. He's had medication. He's had medicated baths. He's had antibiotics. Not contagious any longer. His hair's starting to grow back. He's still a little bit of an ugly duckling, um, albeit a cute one. (laughs) Two or three months from now, he's going to look like a million bucks. Um, high quality diet. He's still really skinny and he's on extra feeds every day. So he has, um, he has the metabolism that we all wish we could have. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Totally. (laughs) All right. So the, the smell that he's given off right now is a medication. Yeah. So he's had some medicated baths and this morning he had some spray that had some probiotics in it. So our staff are really working hard to get him healthy. He kind of smells like a flea bath. Yeah, he does. But I'm telling you what, this dog loves life. He thinks life is one giant party. And now that he's feeling better, he's got such a sweet little boy face to him. Um, I think his name suits him very well. He loves toys. He loves people. He loves going for walks. He He loves loves pumpkin. He loves pumpkin cheese. cheese. (laughs) He is going to make a fantastic family companion for a home that's ready to invest in all things puppy. Yeah. But have a few bucks extra for the extra food that's you right. require. Yeah. That's right. You're going to be your an eater, pet budget. You? Oh. Dave Walker loves puppies. I do. That's his thing. Oh. So he can tell you how important training your puppy is, socializing your puppy, making that lifetime investment to your puppy. Because what you get after the first year and a half of, oh my gosh, <laughs> I would love to sleep through the night, but that's not possible. You get the best dog in the world. Yeah, I'm going to tell you that I've had dogs before, and I've never had dogs anywhere near as well-behaved as the ones I have now, and that's because they went to the puppy training, which mm-hmm. I'd never done before, mm-hmm. and it made all the difference in the world. It does, and you just end up, if you invest in the front ends, and you get such a happy companion that you can take to the brew pubs, and you can take on the hikes, and you can do all that good stuff. So for somebody looking for a great companion, investing in this guy, is it's going to pay off. And again, I can't wait for his new family to send photos in a few months and have all of us Mm -hmm. go, that's the same dog because you're not even going to believe it. And we're going to go, oh my gosh, he's that big. It's going to be really big. (laughs) Those feet are telling. Oh, he's a sweetie. I mean, he he really is a fun-loving dog. He wants to play, but you start petting him and he just melts. He's going to, he's going to be one of those dogs that. I think he's going to make a great napping buddy. Go for a hike and then nap on the couch. He's yeah. just—he's going to be a great dog. So we don't know where he came from other than he wandered into a drugstore. Wandered into a Walgreens in, in Bellingham and clearly picked the right place because their staff were on it, called us and got him over to us. That's and great. So yeah, who knows? It doesn't sound like he had a very or look like he had a very good start in life, but we're sure he's going to have a great life now. So he had no hair. How long have you had him? Because he's pretty hairy now. We've had him for about, I think, five, maybe five weeks or so. Okay. Yeah. And again, with proper care, everything's doing what it's supposed to be doing. But yeah, his before and after pictures are going to be quite something. Yeah, I'll bet. All right. Well, he's a great dog and he's going to bring a lot of love into somebody's family. Maybe it's yours. If you're the right home for Wally... 
You can uh, find him at the Whatcom Humane Society, and you have a new way of adopting a dog now. Yeah, right now we're kind of changing our hours, kind of figuring out what to do with staffing levels. So go to whatcomhumane.org. You can submit an application online. Then we'll call and schedule you in, which we're hoping that'll make it a little easier for all the people who come down. And then we say, oh, gosh, it's a two-hour wait to meet an animal, which isn't fair to anybody. So we're trying to be a little more efficient, provide a little better customer service, but change is always scary and we're all trying to work through it. So walkhumhumane.org. Perfect. Laura Clark from the Whatcom Humane Society. Thanks for bringing us Wally. Too bad. Don't go over there. You're stinky. He's awesome <laughs> and stinky. And our oh, cafe goodness. critter of the week. Get that. Get that. Get that. Get that. Oh boy. Oh, bo- oh yeah. Oh, tug of war with the leash. Oh boy. Teaching him terrible things right yes. now. <laughs> yes. That will be discouraged at puppy class. I'm like the fun ant. I can right. do all the bad <laughs> yeah, things right. with him right now. <laughs> He's a good boy.